would probably be something like this one. Oh, just had a sp just had a uh, spark there from the uh, loco. Oh, did we? On the uh, from the rail, luckily not from the mower. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, that's the sort of all one of those. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what the maximum is, Aussie, when it, when, they, when, it, when, it, when it was when it went Aussie for Loka to carry up, let alone well, of course, down. Enough, they would have always been empty. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Coming down, it's yeah. more a matter of how good was the braking of the engine because usually, when even though they had brakes on them, you'll see there's no um, uh, braking, proper braking system in uh, with brake hoses, etc. So, what would happen is coming down the hill. The driver would always be going slowly because the wagons would come quick and fast. Well, you <laughs> because you wouldn't normally have anybody sitting on any of the wagons because of the engine. Do you want the hot No, it wouldn't be now. It wouldn't be now. I forget where it is, exactly where the Festinial Railway is. It's in it's in part of um, North Wales, North Maddox. Port Maddox, that's it. Yeah. Uh, and then the I've never been there, so. The Welsh Island Mountains from Port Maddox. Oh, well, in fact, I've There's also the Flamberis Lake Railway, which is the other one. Uh, because Flamberis was a uh, slate park. But again, that now is running from the bottom of the snow along the lake. Uh, but again, there is a proposal to try and now reinspect that line used to run into the world. So what they're looking at is can they now reinspect it and run it into the world <laughs> The um, whether you used to take the whether you used to take the slate at the bottom, I, maybe I think I may believe that the old facility they used to take the slate in from the top of the mountain is still there today. Oh yes, the, I mean there the slate heaps. No, no longer no longer work with slate there. Like it's just uh, it's just there for, for show. Yeah. Oh, it's become a big tourist industry now. And that's the type of steam tram, is it? This, oh, this is what's called a, a vertical boiler. This is what some of the very old steam engines look like. They had a vertical boiler. Um, it wasn't terribly efficient, which is why it ultimately got superseded by those. But it worked. Um, you, again, Quarries and places like that, but they weren't cheap to run. So this time there's only got the more units to go for those. And unfortunately, there is only one vertical boiler engine left in existence, and that's in the museum. Look at the old time T Pullman and the. They also have. Um, they also have such a loco with a double with a double boiler each end and then there's a double cab in the middle. Yeah, that's the, uh, the fairs, double fairs. Uh, and again, there is one of those coming out in 2022. In a scale model? Scale model, but it's going to cost £250. Bit of, uh, bit of, save, bit of saving then, that's for sure. Mm.
I don't know why, but the green oh, the green loco looks German for some reason to me. I don't know why. Austrian. Austrian, that's it, yeah. yeah. But, yes, you're right, it is. Um, and in fact, that's another one. It's also Austrian. You can tell from the, um, the smoke the rest of the chimneys. Because they had to run through the forest, there was a high risk of them setting the forest on fire. I'm just going to go and have a look. If I if I see any of those, I'll let you know if there's if, there's, if he's got a few of them. Yeah, we got one. Very unlikely. They're yeah, collectors. Uh, so I'll let you know. You've got me in that stall. Oh, look at me, it's time's going along for me. Stop the train so you can take pictures of them. I will be happy to do so. <laughs> but if you're happy with what you see. <laughs> so if you want me to stop anything, tell me and I'll stop it. Or, or are you taking videos? Ah, oh, I was just getting a video going along. So. Oh, good. <laughs> but that's very kind of you. I like the video of the back end of the German disappearing to the tunnel at the end. You see the red lights flashing. Do you know what's. This this is always a good angle filming from this filming from like this. It's amazing, isn't when, it? When they go past. Yeah. Now, I've seen people do that before, and it, oh I yeah, I'm sure you have. I sat and had my sandwich sitting on that chair there, where your eyes are about at track level. It's a bloody brilliant view. Look at this. Look. Look at that. It's a good angle, that. That's brilliant. It is actually, isn't it? It's very good indeed, yeah. We're very lucky to have such good video cameras on these phones these days. But yeah, the it's, it's, these, these smartphones are unbelievable. They come, I don't know how they've, how they've created them, God knows. I mean, they're so fitting. We had nothing like this when, when, I, when I, even when I was born. I was, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 26 in October, so nothing like this was around. Some of the wildlife photographers are using them, believe it or not. But they want to hide cameras to work in low light to just, and they want to, they're using um, mobile phone cameras. Absolutely. I see you got a you got a HST over there. And uh the gun's quite well actually, I'll run it round in a moment. It's very old. They've uh, they've gone out of service now, haven't they? In National yeah. Rail. 
Yes, there's a few in Scotland still, I think, aren't there? Running on some of the Scotland or anything. I thought that uh, yellow. But it was a, they had a yellow one, which was which, yeah, the test, which, the test one. one. Yeah, the test one. Yeah, that's still a thing. That's probably one of few still running, still running, only running that right now. Yeah, what they've done is they, they took them off mainline service, and um, you know the, the yeah. trunk routes, the um, the Hitachi 800 and things took over them. But ScotRail have got quite a lot, and they run them in five car sets. And I think I think cross country has got some of them too. But this one, and I'll, I'll just run it on at full speed because it always amuses me. It's the oldest, cheapest train I've got here. And it'll roar past uh, the scale of 100 miles an hour. And it doesn't usually fall off. Probably famous last words, but. And the, uh, the little ones love it. They stand there in their chairs and you know, get very excited with that one. Up and down. It's quite atmospheric, isn't it? Yeah. The fact that it goes it's, always, it's, it's always. I always like looking at this sort of thing at uh, low level, like that at high yeah. angle. It's fascinating just watching them go by, really like that. So we've got a... Uh, it's a, got a motorway, motorway tunnel. Must be the M1. I don't know how old enough to be the M1. <laughs> Well, mo motorways didn't probably didn't come into play probably at least late six, maybe early sixties, something like that. The 1960s was the first bit on, on the M1. I can't remember which part I took up to the middle. Um, more than Milton Keynes, I think. Like that. Is it chrome or silver? The 66. It's a 59 actually, it's not sitting here. Oh, okay. But it's actually silver. And the, I'm not sure that the colour of the wagon is, it probably is right, you never used to see them clean like that. But I've seen these things in the flesh down at Curly Station, they used to travel through there a lot. And the, um, the 59 were the first of these, uh, is it the END diesels, Ernest? Yeah, was it? Yeah. Uh, the Electromotive Division of General Electric. Provided these across the yeoman were the first people to order them. And um, you then had those and a few other of uh, the, uh, the quarry operators. And they were so successful that, that they developed into the class 66. Oh, okay, so they got so very similar. So they changed the class number? Yeah, they outdated them. Oh, okay. But basically, the similar underpinnings. And, and same engine from uh, General Electric. And I don't know how many 66s have been built. It must be several hundred, isn't it? I don't know. The, the 59s, there were only about uh, I've seen these 15 in, of these. I've seen these in Freightliner. Uh, Stobart Rail got some in, in yeah, uh, 66s. Got 66s. Yeah. Um, it's just a slight update. What about, yeah. They were bought by private owners to start with. And the railway operating companies like EWS were so impressed with what was, you know, the increased availability of power and everything else that they put in an hour of water, and that's what's going up to 56. And um, I've got, uh, oh, it's not here now, I guess I know. I've got two different, let's end it. It's about changing class numbers. That's actually class 43. And so is that. The second generation of warships for class 43. Yeah. Okay. 
the, the, they were the two sorts, depending on what engine yeah. you had in your transmission. station, of 42s and 43s, they called them. But of course, later on, they reused the class number for the HST. That's a class, class 43. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. We will pretend to be grown ups. It's probably about time to start putting one of these things away, so I'll put this in the box. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go quickly about it. Hmm? I'm going to go quickly about it. Because I've not had a chance for it yet. Yeah. Uh, I've left it on the outside. But you're not, you haven't left anything running, have you? No, no, no. It's totally apart from the little round one. Okay. That's just chugging now. All right. Okay. There used to be an old iron, used to be an old iron works, but for, um, in Croydon, it used to, it used to be horse-drawn horse -drawn wagons. In Croydon? Uh, just uh, sit, just seeing that the uh, horse drawn oh, wagon system. Um, you know, it's a, so it was called something called uh, something called. The Surrey uh, Iron Railway. Uh, I think of the Surrey Iron Railway. I think that's the one. Yeah. Which actually runs. Um, you can follow it all the way down from uh, Wandsworth. Follows the Wandsworth. Yeah, that's, that's what that reminded me of. It comes across, you can see a bit of Purley. There's a bit of it in the back garden of the pub at Merston called the Jolly Farmers. Oh, the, not the Jolly Farmers, the Jolly Farms. And it originally, believe it or not, it was built in Napoleonic terms. It went all the way down to the World Ministry Canal. And the whole idea was to be able to get munitions down to the canal. It's called the Surrey Iron Railway. I may have given you a complete set of bullshit there and mixed up two stories, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. There's a little piece in the... Um, I think sorry, Iron. I think the yeah. sorry, Iron bit is right. I'll, I'll slip it up on my phone. And the, um, there's a piece, I don't know whereabouts. Are you local? Do you live in the uh, I'm not from Tadworth, I'm from uh, South Corden. Oh, in which case, you're well. Um, do you know I'm not far from where the railway used to run. Used to, used to run. Yeah. Do you know Christchurch playing field in, in Purley? Just before, if you're coming in from South yes. Soil and through Curly Oaks, between Curly Oaks and Curly, before you get to the <coughs> crossroads in the middle of Curly, they're coming along the right road. On the right hand side, the recreation ground. Oh, the re recreation ground, yeah. yeah the, in Curly. Yeah. On the top of that, behind some railings, is a piece of the Surrey Iron Railway. Oh, yeah, in the, in the park. In the park. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. I used to work in that office next to the uh, next to the recreation ground there in town. I went and found it. I thought, what's that? And I went to the floor. Okay. What is actually, what's the actual company of the uh, 59? What's the uh, Y stand, stand for? Yeoman. That's the same Yeoman as on the side of the... Um, oh, on the wagons? Yes, yeah, so this is the Foster Yeoman Aggregate Minerals Company. The, um, you, you know this, the one in the yard at Curley, Curley Station has got that big aggregate yard in the back of it, do you know? Up, uh, uh, well, up just behind Curley Station, right alongside the tracks. It's run by day aggregates at the moment. But when it was first opened, it was open by right. the young. Oh, sorry, this is my, this, <coughs> this is my dad. How do you do? Right. Oh. Uh, I was just going to that. I was just about to go to that stall down there. All right, let's go down there. Nice talking to you. Right. Thank you. Cheers. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.